be nice to people. You never know what someone's going through. That could be at their wit's end. And just a smile from you or a nice compliment from you, it can change. It can change their life. <laughs> It's me, Pretty Witty 77, and welcome to another episode of the Deep Condition, where we deep condition our hair weekly while I give y'all a dish on whatever. So grab your conditioners and let's condition. Now, I feel like it's been so long since I've been, done like a formal um, deep condition, but don't worry, I'll be quick. Um, if you guys are unaware, um, May is Mental Health um, Awareness Month, and I kind of wanted to, um, you know, throw out the old format and sit with it. But first, I need to kind of tell y'all um, what I'm using. <laughs> Shout out to my widow who sent me this deep conditioner. This is by Product Junkie Naturals and it is a rose, it's from the Rosemary Collection. It's rosemary uh, Matcha Green Tea Deep Conditioner. And the first thing I know, it kind of, I was like, is this mint? But no, it's rosemary. Rosemary has that kind of, that smell. But I'm willing to get a, give it a try anyways because I looked in the ingredients list and it has a couple of my favorite ingredients that I know work for my hair, like uh, Slippery Elm. I love Slippery Elm in my hair. I knew it was peppermint extract in here. It's one of the last ingredient. Um, but it also has stuff like raw honey. Um, I don't want to mess up this word, but is it uh, Babasu oil? Mm, <laughs> don't clown me too bad. Of course, rosemary, matcha green tea, avocado oil, raw shea butter. That's what caught my mind. So, yeah. And it kind of is... It kind of looks so natural. It's like brown. But, um, yeah, this is what I'm using today. So, let me just go ahead and get into the topic. So, um, yeah, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And I just wanted to, you know, sit with y'all on the topic and discuss. Because a lot of people don't discuss mental health. It's so taboo, especially in the black um, community. Uh, and I'm also going to be giving y'all... Um, so I know I'm going to be giving y'all my first opinion, of course, like the, like I always do, on new deep conditioners that I try. So what I've noticed first off is that this conditioner has a lot of slip. And yeah, um, I'm not getting a super moisturizing feel, but it's not bad, but it definitely has the slip. So I'm happy. Of course, it would have the slip. It's slippery on M in there. But anyways, <laughs> back to the topic at hand. Okay, so yeah, it is just, it's, it's, it's a stigma. Sorry, uh, my hair just be all over the place. But yeah, it, it's a stigma that I feel like it needs to be broken. So many people are out here suffering in silence because they're embarrassed, because their family, you know, doesn't accept this kind of stuff. Y'all, mental health ain't just started um, last week. It ain't just started 10 years ago. This has been going on for a entirely long time so you're not the first and you're not the last you know what i mean so i don't understand when um a child tells me that they told their parent i'm not sure if y'all got y'all had this experience anyways but like if you tell your parent hey i'm i'm feeling depressed and she said get in there and depress them dishes like really it just it, it really doesn't make sense to me i feel like people I don't know. I'm going to say this, and this is completely off topic. I, I still feel like people should pass tests to become parents, bro. To this day is my belief. That's what I believe, and I'm going to stick to it. But, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure where this stigma came from that you list in because suffering in silence is not the move, especially when there's so many resources out there that you can get help. But beside note, if anybody out there um, needs anybody to talk to about the way they're feeling, you can always um, message me. If you have a Twitter, tell me that you want to DM me or you can email me. It's an email address that's at the bottom. Um, it's in the description box. Don't send it to my business address, <laughs> my business email address. Send it to the one that says help me pretty witty 77 send it to that one if you ever want to discuss something with me if you're feeling down if you need my advice you know what i mean on something i'm always there for you i've helped um and i don't like even like to speak about stuff like this but i've helped a lot of people um 
through hard times, loss of loved ones, um, feeling suicidal. And that just makes me so happy to be in the position that I am, that to know that even besides all this hair stuff, I still can affect someone's life um, positively. I can, I can make an impact, you know what I mean? That if I literally have chill bumps talking about this because it's a blessing to me and you know other individuals as well. There's nothing wrong with therapy. People used to get so offended um, when people tell them that they need therapy, they should go to therapy. To this day, a lot of people are like, I don't need no therapist. And they just feel like that if you talk to someone about it, um, oh, I don't feel like telling my business to a stranger, but your, your family or the people that you do know, you don't feel comfortable talking to them. So who are you going to talk to? You know what I mean? God, that's good, but I feel like you, you also need... Um, a earthbound person <laughs> to discuss and to let loose. I mean, because your friends can be supportive, but you need someone. Um, sometimes friends can be a little biased because they are your friend, but you just need a, you need an opinion. You need help. These people have studied this. They just not individuals who volunteer to sit up and hear you talk. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, get in therapy. Even if you don't have anything wrong in your life, ugh, this stuff went in my mouth. Even if you don't have anything wrong in your life, get in therapy because that's even better to start. I got hair all on my lip, y'all. It's even better to start when you're in a good place so that when you are in a bad place that you have the proper skills to navigate the situation. You know what I mean? So that's how I... Um, Feel about that i've definitely um seen doctors um i have been diagnosed um with a couple of things and um the most common one being um anxiety and that's something i wanted to talk to you about because i've had anxiety before i knew what anxiety was you know what i mean and i because i didn't know what it was um when i was younger <sighs> listen I have never, I don't really get down with the bullies. Growing up, I didn't get bullied. If you try to bully me, we gonna fight. That's all, that's how I <laughs> looked at it. But my biggest bullies in my situations and making me fit, you know, when I'm, I, I don't, I'm not knowing what's going on. I'm not knowing what anxiety is when I'm under 10. You know, it wasn't really popular to talk about back then. My siblings was bullies, bro. <laughs> they the one who kind of mold me into kind of how I navigate the world. Bro, siblings can't have an effect on you. But, um, yeah, even not knowing, like, it's something that i seen. Have you ever walked around with a lump in your throat for no apparent reason? And you're like, why do I feel like this? I don't have sore throat. Like, what is this feeling? That's anxiety. Um, I've always been a little, I've always been a shy person. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that. <laughs> but it is. Y'all just... We cool, we friends, you know what I'm saying? We here, y'all get me, you watching me, you rock with me. A lot of people don't see this side of me because I'm always, um, to myself, I'm really quiet. Um, I'm always in my head about stuff, you know what I mean? I've, I've been younger and when, you know, pull up to the store and it's like, hey, uh, we didn't run in the store and get this, this and that. And I'm like, can somebody come with me? And they're like, why you need somebody to come with you? When, da, 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 da. And the whole time I'm freaking out on the inside and I feel like crap because nobody is backing me up. Of course, I'm gonna know how to, I'm gonna need to know how to go in the store by myself. But if I don't feel right, if my anxiety is high when I'm entering areas that I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know people, I can't. I can't keep an eye on everyone. Grocery stores always make me feel a certain way anyways. So that's just that on it. But it's still, which is crazy. Okay, let me tell y'all, cause y'all might be looking at me crazy like what? Um, I will travel out of the country alone. The first couple of times it was super scary, but I still don't have the courage to go a lot of places in the US by myself because of anxiety. It's crazy how it works. Um, that's kind of also why I stick to places that I've been and people be like, you've been there so many times, but I'm comfortable with it. Let me do my thing. I just like things that's going to bring me comfort through it all. Um, I've made a video, oh, it was several years ago, maybe four, five years ago. 
And I made a video about how I um, got through depression, how I cured depression. I'm not sure what the title is. If I find it out, link it um, above. I probably need to rewatch the video. But a lot of those, that worked for me at that time. It might even work for you if there's something you're going through. But what I've noticed is when I do something and if I try to go back to the quote unquote basics, it do not be working. I just need to, I feel like I need to start over and kind of come up with a new plan, something new, something fresh. I don't know why I'm like this, but I am. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, it can get hard. And I feel like in the midst um, of pandemica, <laughs> pan Pacifica and pandemica, like mental illness, it's at an all time high right now. And I don't want to say, I don't know if I want to use the word. Well, that's what it is. It's a mental illness, a mental state. It's at an all time high um, right now. And I really want y'all to take care of yourself. Honestly, it has been hard for me lately. And that's something that I just want to tell y'all about. Um, it has been super hard for me lately. Mother's Day really put me under a cloud, under a dark cloud. You know what I mean? And I've had good Mother's Day where I don't feel as bad, but this Mother's Day was not good for me. And honestly, um, the days after, the days following, um, it hasn't, they haven't been getting any better. <laughs> so there's just something that I'm dealing with, you know, with my personal life. And I know people deal with stuff all the time. Sometimes I just don't feel like talking. I don't feel like being around people. And I used to um, not have a boundary to tell people like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I used to just go with the flow and kind of make myself. But now it's like, yo, I got. I need to use my words and I need to enforce um, my boundaries up on people. Even people calling to reach me and they're like, why you didn't answer the phone? You know, you should have did this, this and that. First of all, I don't belong to anybody. I'm no one's property. No one should be, should be talking to me like that. And um, sometimes family um, feel like they can do more than the average person, but no, my family is gonna have to abide by my boundaries rules well. We not playing that, you know what I mean? Just because you family. That's, that's toxic. And I ain't, I ain't messing with it at all. Protect your energy, protect your space, and be prayed up. Now, let me, now I know I, I've said this before. I say this a lot. Um, yoga really helps with anxiety. Um, I can be on edge, a little uneasy, finish. Um, in yoga, you have to breathe a certain way. Each movement um, calls for a certain inhale or exhale, and you hold in poses, and it, it has been a really big help um for for my anxiety but i went from just having anxiety and not knowing what it was in my younger years to basically having full-blown um anxiety attacks panic attacks um my first one i had when i was driving and i didn't know what was going on and it's like do i need to pull over i can't breathe like it just came out of nowhere and they pretty much been on and off um ever since so yeah I can be the life of the party, but I do, um, I lose energy really fast and I need, to, I be needing to re-up on the energy. I be needing to sit back, charge up, and that's just the person that I am. Sometimes, um, the fact that I'm quiet because, you know, I do have anxiety, <laughs> diagnosed anxiety, and a lot of girls, um, tend to think, oh, you know, she thinks she this, she thinks she that, because I'm not talking, but that the people who have that mindset anyways, those are just people that I don't ever want to be associated with. I don't ever want to be around those type of people because if you're making assumptions by somebody you don't even know, you don't know what's going on. But if you look, what what I've noticed, and I don't even want to be shallow or anything, but if, if someone is less appeasing to the eye and they're quiet, they don't really get a lot of pushback. But if you have attention, if, if men are showing your attention or if people see that people are interested in you and you're quiet, you get all these extra labels like being stuck up, you think you too better. No, you think I'm all that. I don't think I'm all that. You think I'm all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like crazy um, how online I have so many supportive people, but in person I be having haters, full-fledged haters. So yeah, take care of yourself. Protect your space. 
let me know how you feel about the topic um and i feel like this stuff should be if you have children definitely discuss stuff like this with them they might have the same thing that you have so off topic you shouldn't be talking to them in a certain way especially i try not to talk to children because i am really good with children but i try not to talk to children the ways that i didn't want adults talking to me i don't care if i'm the adult they're they're little people they're people they deserve that too um anyways um that's gonna wrap up the video i feel like i'm all over the place but yeah it's mental health awareness month i hope you this um chat resonated with you um yeah Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with someone that you think will really like to hear these words. Stay up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.